Welcome to Monbury. You know, like you're those, hello, those, hello. like those tourists, huh? Okay, is this my good angle, or do I have my double chin inside? Hello, welcome to my channel. Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. Hello, welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone. This is my first time doing a vlog, and most of the time, I would just freeze off, so don't be surprised about that. And I have a cameraman this time. <laughs> it's Huda. I'm very honored last time that Huda invited me to Centopia so this time around I'm bringing her to Supernatural Confessions This is one of their live shows um, at uh, Aljuni area Say hi Huda Hi So how are you feeling now? How is it, how's the environment for you? What? How's the environment for you? Uh, I don't know Okay <laughs> So what are you drinking, Huda? Mocktail. Mocktail. Non-alcoholic. <laughs> oh, sorry. Cheers. Cheers. I got the the whole thing as well, the rice. Are you the one who make the rice? It's you. Yeah. Oh my God. 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 Oh my god, okay, now I have to really like I used to tell people that I remember faces, right? I'm bad. Okay, now I'm really bad with remember faces now. <laughs> wow. This is my second time meeting her. <laughs> yeah, you keep with your son and your mom, yeah. right? Oh my goodness. You see, I remember every yeah. I was like, your face was different, you know. <laughs> Are you wearing a mask? Different sideways. Ah, maybe, maybe I was like exposed to the other side, huh? So my dad came down. He never asked questions. Come down, he fetched me. Up. Then when we enter the house, then my dad asked me why. Because he knows. Normally, I won't call him. There's no reason for him. Yeah. 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 Then I showed him. I saw something outside. Yeah. Was it the first and last time that you saw it? Oh, look, my sister. Uh huh. It has to be like attached to your sister in any way. Oh, you know what? Okay, it has a tendency of like, you know, once it goes, it knows, right? Then you just like, stay on. Yeah. Especially when it knows that you can see it. And it's not like, kind of like you welcome it kind of thing. And then you're like, no, it's entirely, I did not accept your invitation. Yeah. Like, you know, there, you know? Yeah. I took the video. Please, a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> Well, from my side, I have never seen any, but right. I do have times where I felt it. Mm. Yeah, so uh, nothing major like some people who have like a, like interaction with them or anything like that. I don't, but I do like have feelings. So I try to avoid those areas when I get feelings like that. Yeah, one time I was working at I was the cashier there and the reception. So most of the time I have to finish my cashiering before I I uh, go uh, do retire off. So what happens is that. So my hostel is just behind uh, behind the, the restaurant area and then our rest our toilet area is just on the outside. So what happened is that I went to the restroom so just to take a leak before going back to my room. And then the thing is that there was no wind and it was not even monsoon yet. But then suddenly the door was going opening and closing by itself. And then 
actually I shouted profanity <laughs> and then it stopped <laughs> so most of the time it's something like this happening for me so I never really actually saw anything <laughs> <laughs> How dare you curse me? <laughs> oh no! I have seen like uh, you know like for me, my encounter is more like they, they run. Yeah. So like it looks like you know at the side of your eye, you can actually see the, the shadows like they are runners or whatever you call them. So I see that very frequently, very often. Even in my own home, uh, other places, I can actually see them very clearly like running. And when I look, they're gone. You know, they disappear when they are. Yeah. So I know that they're there. I can feel them. Yeah. Is it more like a shape? Like a shape or a shadow? Kind uh, of would be like a shape, a shadow, yeah. And you can actually see it really quickly, you know, at the side of your eye, you can see them like just running across, yeah. Or like coming towards me, and then when I turn it, they like they just disappear, yeah. And then I'm like, please, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, don't come towards me, yeah. I'm not. You heard about the third eye, right? Yeah. The third eye, yeah. So you're not ready for the third eye yet. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not like until Murali, bye bye. No, no, no. But have you tried like communicating in some way? I have, I have tried, but then I'm like, I, I don't want to pick up the responsibility because it is a huge responsibility, you know, and then you must be someone who's really stable. And then I am already so unstable in this human form, I don't want to pick up that as well. I'm like, no, it's, it, it is a huge responsibility. When I hear people like, you know, dabbing into stuff like that, right, I'm like, are you sure you really want this? It's a commitment for life, you know. Oh, exactly, that's the right word. It's about handling it, you know. You can't really handle it. It's not like for fun and games, you know. Because it comes with you with a lot of trauma and pain and everything. And you already have your own, you know. You might get absorbed into it. Yeah. I don't want to get lost into the other world. I'm already like trying to struggle to live in this world. Yeah. And you have to pay for another world. I know. But I've always been interested in like them. You know, I am interested, but there's a bit of a like a tango kind of thing. Like I want to see you, I want to know you, but okay, okay, okay. Bye bye, bye bye. Yeah, you know, within within limits. Yeah. But most of the time when you see those visions pass by, are they yeah. in full form or do they have yeah, like... Yeah, like usually it's like a full form. Full like human see. form? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I wouldn't say it's a human, it's just like literally a... a shadow. Uh, like one big, you know? Yeah. Just a shape. Correct. Yeah. One big something. Yes, one big something. <laughs> Well, that is a good thing because lucky you don't see like eyes falling out, <laughs> heads hanging. <laughs> I will scream for you. <laughs> but have you ever caught it on video while they... Okay, uh, I think there's one video where they say that... You know, I, I just thought, I thought to myself that after some time, everything would just go of me. I really have nothing to freaking say about that, right? Right? But when you, when, when, and, and this individual has talked about mental health state all the time. There usually is a super rational explanation Whoa. for Whoa. most things. And I'm Sonia. Thanks for coming down, guys. All right, this is Bill from On The Fringe and the truth is always out there, so... Next time you think that the hantu is haunting you, remember, 
you wanted them first. Oh. All right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it all the way from Kuching Sarawak. I feel the love from Singapore. Like, really, really, I appreciate it. Kim signing out, man. Whatever you don't see, that's it, man. So we finished with our Supernatural Confessions live. It was a great experience. I didn't expect it to be a big turnout. <laughs> and thank you so much, my bestie Huda, for coming along with me. But unfortunately, we couldn't stay long and we have to rush off to this dark area. <laughs> Which we have to walk here to, to go home. <laughs> Hi guys. Before I end this vlog, I have a message from Darwin to share with the Supernatural Confessions team. And since Darwin is not here, I'm just going to portray myself like a guy and pretend that this is Darwin. Okay, so I'm just going to read out a message from Darwin. Well, congratulations to the Supernatural Confessions team for pulling it off because my friend Uda and I, me and Darwin, had an awesome time. Yes, we did. Although there were some hiccups here and there but hey even babies also need to fall a few times before they are able to grow up right the nocturne noir drinks was amazing it reminded me of baileys and milk chocolate liqueur but i had a non-alcoholic drink and it's nice too it was also awesome to meet eugene kim sonia and joe for the first time in a flash joe you are awesome. Thank you for sharing your twisties. Sonia, it's truly an honor to have shaken your hand, let alone to be at your presence, and thank you for remembering my name. Mr. Kim, hi! Inside Sarawak, represent! Happy birthday! May all your wishes come true and many more to come. Last but not least, Eugene, I just want to say, Thank you and I will let you know what it's for when the time is right. Once again, congratulations on an awesome finale. Well done Supernatural Confessions. It is Darwin approved. Good luck in the new season and blast 2023 out of the waters. Boom! That's a high five from Darwin. And yes, we really had a great time there. Thank you guys. We hope to see you guys again next time. Bye!